Think about something in your life that is life-changing. After it happened, your life has never been the same. Maybe you moved to a new house, to a new school, or your baby sibling was born. Well, I have some exciting, life-changing news for you. Today's memory verse comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Let's find it in the Bible. So if you have your Bible and you can't find 1 Corinthians, um, you can go to the beginning of the Bible where it has the table of contents and look in the New Testament. And after Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, you have 1 Corinthians. Now, when you have turned to 1 Corinthians, look for the big number 15. 15, that is the chapter. And then find the little number 3. That's the verse. So when we say the reference of the memory verse or Bible verse, we're talking about like the address, where to find it in the Bible. So this memory verse, the reference or the address is, is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. It says, For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. This is life-changing news. In the beginning part when it says, For I delivered unto you as of first importance what I also received. Does anyone remember who is talking in the verse? It's Paul. Apostle Paul had received the good news from God, and now he was telling the other believers. He was witnessing. In the next part, it says that Christ died for our sins. Who is Christ? Christ is a name for Jesus. It is also a title we use to refer to him. It means Jesus is the promised Savior. Jesus, God the Son, no, God the Son was born on earth as a baby and grew up to be a man. He is perfect and without sin. But you and I have sinned by doing, saying, or thinking that displeases God, that God does not like. And God is perfect and has to punish sin. But instead of punishing us forever, and because he loves us so much, he sent Jesus to die on a cross for our sins. The next part when it says, in accordance with the scripture or according to the scriptures, do you remember what the word scripture means? Scripture means God's word, the Bible. And it, said, it means Jesus did everything God had said in the Old Testament. Everything went according to God's plan. You know, the New Testament is where we, they talk about Jesus' birth, his life, and his death and resurrection. In the Old Testament, Jesus wasn't on earth yet, but all these prophets and, the, and leaders of God, um, they were already telling people about the promised Savior, who was Jesus. Everything was happening according to God's plan. And when it says, and that he was buried and that he rose again on the third day, Jesus didn't stay dead. He came back to life on the third day and lives in heaven today, ruling over us all. Jesus died and came back to life for you and me. Now I'm going to ask some friends to stand up and say the memory verse with me. You ready? If you have a brother, I want you to stand up to your feet and say the memory verse with me. For I deliver to you as a first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. Nice job! Now, if you have a sister, I want you to stand up and say the memory verse with me. For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised, on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, 
1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Now, if you are an only child, I want you to say the memory verse with me. Ready? For I deliver to you as a first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. Awesome job! Keep practicing and remember this memory verse and keep it in your heart.